Well, why don't we start with some lessons in chemistry on the show today? Andrew Garfield set the internet aflutter by giving the people what they want, which is an appearance on Chicken Soup, Chicken Soup, no, Chicken <laughs> Chicken Shop Date, which is a really popular YouTube show hosted by comedian Amelia de Moldenberg. Now, um, fans have been hoping to see more of their flirty banter since they first uh, had a red carpet encounter two years ago. So uh, do, are, we're not showing a clip of this, correct? We are. Okay, why don't we take a look for ourselves? Come on, we can own that, like, it's... It was... It's been vibey. It's been yeah, like, it's been vibey it, to the point where you've been avoiding me for two exactly. years because yes. the vibes were too much for you to Powerful handle. Powerful vibes. So I'm actually surprised you're here. I'm also surprised I'm here as well. Chemistry, yay or nay, and why does everybody want to try to ship these two together? Mm. I think I think celebrities that we want like a celebrity man that's not dating a twenty-year-old model. Like I think that's really what we want. At that point, like damn, she has a great personality. She has a career. You know, she she t holds him. She like takes him to task, and I love that. I will say, Amelia, if you're watching, and I know you are, I've dated a lot of actors. Gun to my head, could not make me do it again. <laughs> oh, wow. No, no. You're the warning amount, her. The, girl, oh the amount of self-tapes you have to read for. You have to read for so many auditions for them. <laughs> they call you over and they're like, let's have dinner. And they're like, wait, can you just read for me real quick? Yeah. <laughs> get out, girl. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> So interesting. I mean, it, this story, the story goes online, according to online lore, that this relationship started two years ago on a red carpet where she was doing interviews. And I think we have a clip of, of them together. It says... I'm not going to read what it says. Okay. I, I don't, I don't want to hear what it says. It says, it says best friend certificate. My best friend. Okay, bye. See you. See you, hey, hey, bye. See you the next carpet. Hey. Bye. See ya. You're great right out of the gate. And I have to say, as a person who has been on red carpets, I think we all have, I admire her confidence, her presence, and her ability to not be intimidated. And I think that's maybe what's captured his attention as well. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, as an outsider, I'm into watching this, but I would never want it for myself. Like, I don't want that kind of flirty banter where you're constantly kind of like trying to one-up each other and trying to tease each other. And it just feels, really? it's it's exhausting. I like, you it. like, I like it. it. You like it. I like it. I like it. First of all, I would like to say on behalf of my television boyfriend, Arthur Simeon, and myself, <laughs> that's not that hot. <laughs> They're okay. And this is nothing but a little bit of cheeky banter. And honestly, but all jokes aside, uh, interviewing in uh, stars is a very challenging thing to do. You have to be fun, you have to be smart, you don't have a lot of time, and you gotta use whatever arsenal you have in your tool belt. And I know as a single woman, if I'm interviewing a single heterosexual man, the tool that I always reach for is the flirting. You guys have seen me do it on the show a zillion times, where it's like, <laughs> because there's something about when someone flirts with you, it immediately calms a person down, they open up, and now they're willing to play, to play and you're gonna have those little moments. And before everybody starts looking for an engagement ring and kind of guessing how many children they're gonna have, this is what you do. This is the arsenal. And she's a comedian, so she knows how to play and he's playing with her. So that's all I'm seeing. I don't see anything else. I think it's just cute. You, just think it, oh, yeah. you don't think there's any just real Just like Arthur and I are just friends and people refuse to believe that. I'm talking to you, people at home who keep yeah. my comments online. It's just cheeky banter. That's all that it is. Well, we'll play this tape at your wedding. But anyway. Um... <laughs> my wedding is on To my husband, he'll understand. <laughs> I mean, I want to go back to what you said that the idea of this poking and this kind of, I just think if, you, if this is what dating is today in 2024, thank God I'm not dating. You guys Because I this? watched, I watched the first half. Luckily, the, whole, the way it started is not the way it ended, thank goodness. They mm -hmm. actually started to play a little bit more and he actually called her out on what I thought was really annoying behavior, if I have to say it, on both sides. And it was this sort of condescending, there was game playing, he, you know, th this idea that it's this one-upmanship and like the idea, remember when we were in school and they'd say, well, if the boy is teasing you, it's because he likes you. I got those vibes and I found mm. it really immature. I found it really difficult to watch until Andrew calls her out on it. And then she kind of does relax her guard and then they have a ton of fun and then it was actually watchable. So I hope they're not actually an item. Because I thought British, this was exhausting. It's British. 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 I think it's British. Yeah. I think it's also the British sense of humor. As well. Yeah. But she, well, listen, we're talking about it. We're so talking, so it works. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Flirt it away, worked. girl. Flirt away. Hey, you. Come a bit closer. 
We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.